I'm sure this has happened to everyone before. You're walking through your house and you step on something sharp. You might not know what you've stepped on just yet, but you know that you stepped on it and it hurt. Well, I'm going to walk you through this process as it happens in your spinal system. Specifically, I will focus on the flexor reflex and the cross extensor reflex. Keep in mind that both of these reflexes are activated simultaneously, but here I will explain them separately to show the difference. Okay, so let's focus on my foot here. I've just stepped on something sharp. The cutaneous receptors that register painful stimuli are known as nociceptors. These will send this message via afferent signals through the spinothalamic pathway, which is associated with pain and temperature, all the way up to the interneurons in my primary somatosensory cortex, which will then activate the motor neurons to begin the flexor reflex in my right foot. This is essentially the process of me quickly picking up my foot to move it away. The flexor muscles in my right foot will become excited to contract my hamstring muscle in order to accomplish this. So you may be wondering what makes this motion a cross extensor reflex. So moving my right leg up and away from the object will cause me to firmly plant my left leg on the ground to steady myself. In this case, the opposite muscle group on my left leg will become activated to hold my weight. This is where you'll see me wobble on my left side to switch my balance. The reason I'm able to walk away seemingly not in pain is because I, I suffered a cutaneous injury. This is a shallow injury done to the skin and the pain dissipates pretty quickly in these cases.